Now the fall is here. Hospitals are bracing for a surge in respiratory illnesses, especially in children. Yeah, so last month, the CDC recommended the first vaccine to protect infants against RSV. It's a highly contagious respiratory virus. Yeah, I spoke with Dr. Sarah Ash Coombs from Children's National Hospital about the vaccine. Our conversation is what's going around. Dr. Coombs, what exactly is RSV? RSV is respiratory syncytial virus. It's a common fall and wintertime virus. Honestly, most children will have one case of it by the age of two. And for many, it really just produces a cold, you know, upper respiratory symptoms, stuffy nose, congestion, maybe a little bit of a cough. The reason we talk about it so much and worry about it is that in younger babies and some vulnerable infants and children, it can really go deeper down into the lower parts of the airways, set up home and cause a lot of severe inflammation, plugging of the airways, and can lead that baby or child to need help with breathing in the hospital. Dr. Coombs, the CDC recently recommended the RSV vaccine for infants to protect them. How much of a game changer is this? I think it's a potential huge game changer. So RSV is something that every year in the hospital we see at this time of year. So here at Children's National Hospital in the district, we have already started tracking our RSV numbers and they are increasing exponentially week on week since the beginning of September. So we are talking about a virus that brings children to the hospital, to the emergency department, and especially for those vulnerable babies, those eight month and younger babies who will be eligible for this monoclonal antibody vaccine, it can cause them to need to stay in the hospital, to need help with their breathing, maybe even needing a breathing tube to actually assist their breathing. For children who are eligible for, for uh, uh, COVID vaccine, do you recommend the RSV, flu, and COVID vaccine all at once? It's a great question, Chris. We don't have a lot of data. So what I would say is definitely we know COVID and flu together are completely fine. We actually recommend that because if you're there, get your vaccines, get it done while you can. The one thing I would say is when we're talking about this RSV vaccine, the monoclonal antibody, what we know is we want children to have it as young as possible. So for these infants, we're actually talking about them getting it within a week after birth. Bear in mind, COVID and flu vaccines, you can't get them at younger than six months of age. So my hope would be for babies being born now and through the winter, they actually get that RSV vaccine early. You know, they get born and then within a month of birth, they're getting the RSV. Then they head back to the pediatrician or the local facility at six months of age and get the COVID and the flu shots together. Dr. Coombs, terrific information. Really appreciate your expertise and thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.